pretty cost effective as well. So there's a couple things to consider when you ship out a VHS tape. The first one is that you're going to want to ship out USPS media mail. That is probably the cheapest rate you will, you will find to ship out a, a tape. Right now it's just under four dollars. So this particular tape, Jacob's Ladder, I haven't watched the movie myself, so I can't say much about how good the movie is. But anyways, I paid around probably 10 cents for it, and I sold it for $10. Free shipping. So I'll make uh, about four or five bucks off of it. Nothing too crazy. But, you know, it all adds up if you're shipping out, you know, 10, 20 tapes a week. So, like I said, we're going to ship it out media mail. So that means that... Uh, it's going to be shipped alongside of a lot of larger boxes with tons of books in them. So you want to make sure that's well protected. So we're going to do, we're going to offer it three layers of protection. First one is going to be, we're going to bubble wrap it. We're going to wrap it in bubble wrap. Then we are going to wrap it in some sort of a hard material like cardboard. And finally, we are going to put it into a uh, mailing, mailing bag to offer it uh, the weatherproof protection when it's in transit. So let's go ahead and wrap it up in bubble wrap. We'll go ahead and tape it. Now, I like to tape it three times, tape it at the, uh, the seam where the bubble wrap connects, and then each side to kind of offer it, uh, make sure it doesn't move around and the bubble wrap keep, keep it protected. Then we're going to put it around some cardboard, or put some cardboard around it to offer it a layer of hardware protection. So there's a couple ways we can do this. How I'm going to do it this time is just uh, crease it here. See that? Crease it right there. Crease it again. Crease it again. And essentially, we kind of make our own little box here. We're going to tape that up. Again, I like to tape it three times, one at each end, to keep the uh, tape from moving out, or the VHS tape from moving around inside, and then want the crease there. And then I like to connect the tape in the middle so that the tape does not separate from the actual box. Then all we're going to do, it, it, do from here is place it in this bag. These bags are pretty cheap. Uh, the round, maybe 10 cents, probably a little bit less, right around 8 cents a bag if you buy them in bulk on Amazon. Um, and they come with they already come with adhesive on the end there. Now, typically, I usually still will tape the adhesive. So normally I go ahead and tape tape the adhesive down, tape the corner shut as well, because I don't want any sort of moisture getting in there. Uh, tape's pretty cheap, so there's no reason to not over tape something. But there you have it. We have it uh, protected there in bubble wrap. Then we have a hard layer of protection that is the uh, piece of cardboard in there to help it help keep it protected from all those large, heavy uh, boxes full of books. And then we put it into this weatherproof um, plastic bag to help protect it against moisture on the way over. Anyways, hope this video 
I hope you found it helpful. If you did, uh, go ahead and give it a like or whatever you want to do to it. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve packing VHS tapes and shipping them out, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Thanks.